with your definition of feminism, since I guess you're a feminist, right? With my definition. What is your, defi your definition? <clears throat> Equality between men and women? Equal rights. Okay, but so you think we're currently still fighting for that, correct? In the US or in the world? Well, I don't know about the current state of equality between men and women and in uh, like the United Luxembourg, States. Luxembourg, I don't know, um, United well, States. Having lived in you know, a developing country with a more patriarchal society like Egypt, mm -hmm. if you compare that to when I moved here, you know, obviously okay. women have way more rights here. Sure. Um, I think, you know, there are still some little things. But so do men, right? Men have more rights here than they do in Egypt, too, don't they? Um, yeah, I'm, some, in some cases, yeah. yeah. Like, just, I think a lot of people just don't have a lot of rights in general over there. Rights don't exist? It's not that they don't exist. Like, it's not as, it's well, not North exist? Korea. It's... <laughs> Do rights exist? In Egypt? No, do they just exist at all? Yeah. Where? What do you mean? Can you point to one? Well, you know, like in Saudi Arabia, women recently in the recent years, they just got the vote, the right to vote. So they got, so they, they got a right. So it didn't exist before they got it? Yeah, they didn't have the right to vote Right, before. so it didn't exist. So rights don't exist. They're just get things that are given to people, right? They're entitlements absent duty. They don't actually exist. Well, it's like men had the right, so it existed in the first place. Men didn't place. have the right. There was no right. There's no rights. There's no such thing as a right. It's completely made up social construction. It's arbitrary, completely meaningless. It's so just, like in the first 10 amendments, when they talk about your rights, like right to bear arms, mm -hmm. your right to a speedy trial. Like Do you, you have a right to bear arms? As an American? Yeah. Yeah. Can you bear a nuke? I, no. No, you can't. I thought you had a right to bear arms. <laughs> well, it, like, to an extent. Like, there's still governing laws, especially within I each thought it was a right. Too. I mean, well, that's for you to talk to the... So it's not a right? It's something besides a right. A conditional right. Conditional right? Does that mean we can put more conditions on the right until it doesn't even become the right? I guess if you want to. Well, then it, there's no rights. It's just all made up. It's just made up nonsense. There's no well, rights. I mean, yeah, time, technically it is made up because someone had to write. That's right. Amendments. It's all made up. You wanted to come I was in? just going to say at the time that that right was written down in the Constitution, uh, there was not nukes. So. Oh, awesome. Yeah, there was just massive warships that could cannonade an entire coastal city it's and blow word. it to fucking smithereens. Cannonade. I like that. But uh, you can't own one of those either. Actually, I probably could if I had the money. I could probably buy like a, you know, like a ship with cannons on it. Do you want to become a pirate with me, Andrew? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Derailing, 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 sorry. I'm just saying. I mean, you, have, you, had the right, you have the right to bear arms. It doesn't mean you can just mass murder. You're, you're a little too far is, from the mic. What does the right to bear arms have to do with mass murder? Well, you just brought up an example of mass murder with, with the giant warship no that wasn't an example of that it was to express to you that even if the technology did not at the time exist for whatever these limitations you're putting on modern guns it's totally irrelevant because there was technology which was still highly powerful which could take out entire coastal cities even then at the time right then so arms includes what does that include exactly that's a good question that's what i'm trying to figure out right just like freedom of speech does that only include printing press because that's what they had at the time mm -hmm. that's my question so we're talking about rights. I don't think there are rights. I think that they're fucking made up. Well, I've, I've never had anybody demonstrate to me that there's an actual right to do shit. What is a right? Well, by your logic as just saying like, oh, rights don't exist because it's things people made up. And it, you can almost say it's like a social construct. It you is. You say that about literally anything in the entire world. Like no, you the can't. Well, yeah, because the government was technically made up by people. Yeah, the, you the could people say that the government. The people made up everything, like even the written sure. language, the alphabet. But democracy like, is a social construction. Communism is a social construction. Well, yeah, These are all governmental bodies. Everything. But material things do exist. This microphone exists. You could maybe say calling it a microphone is a social construction. But it does exist. This is material and exists. Well, yeah, Rights it's, it's, are not material. Rights do not exist. Absent the mind. They're just things that exist inside the mind, right? So when people, that's why when people are always like, my right to do, but you don't have a fucking right to do shit. You just, it, it's just made up nonsense, ultimately. I mean, it's made up by your government. 
what's made up by your government? Your rights. So then your government can make up that you have no rights? If they I wanted mean, to, unfortunately, they yeah. Well, then there's no rights. You just have something which is an entitlement that they're calling a right, right? So they say, you well, can I've do this until we say you can't do this. So what makes it a right? Doesn't that seem like it's just a privilege? You're just being allowed to do I, something? I think you're getting into semantics. I'm not quite semantics sure Semantics are super important for concepts. And so, yeah, it is, it is semantics. Semantics are important to, to concepts. So mm -hmm. if you have a concept of right, I want to know what a right is, and I want to know why you think people have them. What is one? I think what you're... What? The right to education. The right to education. Yeah. <laughs> let me, let me uh, maneuver here a little bit. So the question, though, for Isabella, what is one right that a man has in the United States that a woman does not? Because there's feminists, there's massive women's organizations, feminist organizations in the United States. It has, feminism has major systemic and, um, uh, what's the, the two, what are the two buzzwords people use? Systemic and institutional, institutional power in this country. Mm -hmm. And if feminism is about, you know, equalizing the supposed rights between men and women, what are the rights that feminism is fighting for for women to have equalized between themselves and or well between men and women well when i said that i believe in equal rights you know i wasn't only talking about the united states okay well let's talk about the united states so okay. are there currently in the united states any rights that are afforded to men that women do not have um i'd have to look into it more you so you're well, purporting I, to fight for something, well, but you're not even about, sure what around specific. Around the world, because you know I, I haven't lived in the U.S. for very long, so okay. I wouldn't like even though I'm technically American, I wouldn't claim this as like my country. So you're so, currently like doing advocacy for Egypt. I'm just not advocacy specifically. You know, I'm not going out to protest like all the time and mm -hmm. like donating to things. But of course, like I'm not gonna say I don't think that they should be equal there because I've seen like what she said she's seen people like women have all their rights taken away in whatever countries like similar things happen in Egypt where they're not treated very well and that's okay over right there. but I don't I don't know I'm not really interested in speaking about Egypt yeah no, that's understandable okay. I mean you didn't clarify if I just meant about the were US, you treated so. badly in Egypt um worse than I was treated here. Yeah, what does that mean, though? You know, I was harassed, like, pretty much Dude, every... Oh, you, sorry. No, sorry well, no, 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 but, like, I've, I don't know, I've heard some not very positive things about Egypt. Yeah. No offense, since you live there for a long period of time, especially Cairo, I've heard. It's, uh... Yeah, it's not great. It's especially hard, for, yeah, that's it's why hard I'm curious. living there. It's very... It's a difficult country to live, especially when you come from, like, a Western country and then you move there afterwards of course i will acknowledge that i did have it better than the average citizen or person living How in come? egypt because i was an expat okay so you know expats of course they're gonna have it better than the average egyptian living in egypt okay. for the most part all right well moving on with my notes 